Today we are making Bavarian sweet mustard. This mustard is usually eaten with Weisswurst. You can also put it on something like Leberkäse. Recipe for that up here. You need yellow and brown peppercorns, a few little spices, some salt, some sugar, water and vinegar, and an eighth of an onion. Let's start with the liquids. We will set the vinegar aside. Then we're gonna add the water to a pot, all the spices, all the salt, the onion. I'm just gonna break this up because I'm using a little bit too large a pot so you can see better. And this goes onto the stove. You bring it to a boil and then you turn it off and let it steep for 15 minutes. And after those 15 minutes, you run that through a sieve and retain the liquid. Now, Bavarian sweet mustard has kind of a gritty consistency, so it's not a perfectly smooth mustard. In order to achieve that, I'm using my Nutribullet. You can use any high-speed blender or you can use a spice grinder or a coffee grinder. You could even use a pestle and mortar and it would work just with a little bit of elbow grease. So that's my mustard both types into the same jar here. And I'm just quickly gonna process that. I don't wanna have it a perfect powder because as I said, the mustard should be a little bit gritty. So I'm just pulsing this a little. This is the base of your mustard, of course. I'm pouring in the sugar. This one stuck together a little, but the liquid will take care of that. I'm just loosely mixing it for now. The liquid's cooled down sufficiently. So now let's quickly strain those. Now add in the vinegar. And then pour this entire stuff into your mustard mix. Give that a good stir. And you can see right now it's pretty liquid. But the moment all these mustard seeds start sucking up the water, it's gonna thicken rather quickly. Now this needs to rest for a day. Use some foil or something to loosely cover this. It will start fermenting a little bit and that's a good thing, you want that. So don't cover it too tightly. And just for safety, I'll add a plate on top so that nobody drops something on here. And now I'm gonna put it on the side. Well, it's been a day and here's the end result. It's a good consistency. Although I did have to cheat a little because after a few hours it was clear that this is a little bit too watery. It's what happens with natural products like seeds. So for some reason the seeds that I was using didn't swell up as much as the recipe assumes. So with all these things, if it's too watery, just grind up a few more of those seeds and mix them in. Or if it turns out way too firm, you know, add a little water or a dash of vinegar and you're good to go. So this is a perfect consistency. All you have to do now is put it in jars and then let it sit for a few weeks to develop its flavor. You can sample it now. It will taste pretty bad. So don't be discouraged. It will be way too hot. It will be pretty bitter. But this is all mellowing out over the next two or three weeks. So all I'm doing is filling this into jars and then you put them in a dark, cool place. And if you don't have a dark, cool place, put them in a the fridge. Then you just let them sit there for a few weeks. If you want to make these things shelf stable, you can, of course, put them in a water bath for, let's say, 20 minutes, depending on the jar size. And you can just put them on a the shelf and refrigerate them after opening. Make sure the rims of the glass are nice and clean. So the lids seal properly. 
And this is how easy it is to make mustard. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.